Well, hi, Warriors. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, here's, here's our situation. Her situation. Well, I made it into Jim's situation. <laughs> um, uh -huh. This is our dining room. And this is our dining room table where we eat. Our kitchen is not big enough to hold a table. So I told Jim I want my dining room back. So right now, this is our business center. <laughs> it's, it's where we do all our YouTube editing. We pay all our household bills. We handle all of our business, all from here. So today, we are going to be restoring a piece of furniture and we're gonna be using it as a new workstation. We're gonna be doing that with the help of FlexiSpot, who is our sponsor for today's video. And we're gonna we're gonna give her back her dining room table. Now, I know that once we do all that, she's gonna to wanna to refinish this table. Yes. So you'll probably see this one in a future video when we redo it. She wants to change the colors. Maybe Women. in the spring. Anyway, anyway. Let's head out to the let's head out to the garage and we'll get started on our piece of furniture that we're going to be restoring for this project. Okay guys, so here's our table. I took some pictures that I'll show you here of what the table looks like. And I took some close-ups of the top because you really can't tell from far away, but the finish really is worn. There's a lot of gray spots in it from being weathered. And we need to get this finish off. So we're gonna be using our carbide scraper to do that. And that is getting most of the finish off. So we're going to keep going with this. Get this thing all scraped down. I'm just finishing these edges up with a 320 grit, make it nice and smooth. Hey. 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 Coming through. This is my area. <laughs> okay, let's get the top off this. Get it inside so we can do some work on it. 
See what we gotta do here. This is a box the FlexiSpot sent us. It contains the FlexiSpot Pro Series Electric Height Adjustable Standing Desk Frame. So let's open it up and see what we got. So we've got installation guide, Ooh, is that a catalog? Yeah, a catalog, nice. And this is probably, that's a controller, part of the controller. Well, they really got this packed in here too. So we'll pull out all the pieces and then we'll See how it all goes together. These are electronics, I think. Oh, that one's heavy. For sure, there too. These are the two legs. Okay, I think that's it. So let's toss the box aside. So while we're showing you how we built the desk, it goes together fairly simply. It's uh, just following the instructions and we're just gonna speed that up and let you watch that. But I wanted to show you the Flexible Spot website. This is their, their main website. And if you go to the main website, you can look at uh, all kinds of different things like um, under health and fitness, they got all kinds of stuff. They got under desk bikes and stuff. Um, you can see that here. Um, they've got these little exercise bikes that can fit under the desk. They've got uh, anti-fatigue mats and just all kinds of stuff that you can use with your desk. And then as far as the desktop goes, we're building our own desktop, but they also have many, many, many choices. These are all the different colors that they have for their desktops. And then once you're done with choosing what color you want, then they have all these different sizes. And then as you can also see, they've got, you know, whether or not you want casters and under desk bikes, and they have chairs and monitor alarms 
and standing desk mat and cable management items for everything that goes to and from the desk. They got uh, monitor stands. They just an array of all kinds of things that they have on their website that you can purchase as accessories. They also have um, their desks also come in um, their frames actually come in L shapes. They have different shapes for their frames. So you can put uh, lift desk in your uh, corner. Just all kinds of things that you'd be able to do. Here you can see some of the different colors. And so uh, if you go to the website, we have a link down below. And if you use our link, you will get an extra $15 off any of your purchases. And we just wanted to show you what their website looked like and all the different things that they have available. Okay, so we're ready to stain the top. We're going to be using General Finishes Gel Stain and Candle Light. And I want to show you guys some uh, tricks. It can be a little tricky to do large surfaces like this. Um, you want to be careful that you're not going to get a bunch of lap marks where you're overlapping and then you end up with dark streaks. So we're going to use a couple of methods here that I want to show you. It'll help avoid that. First of all, if you want to make sure that you're really stirring up your gel stain well, there's a lot, a lot of pigments in gel stain. And you want to make sure that if any of those have settled, that you get them well mixed back into the solution. And also when you mix up your gel stain, uh, sometimes when you open it, it'll look kind of like pudding. And when you mix it up, it'll smooth it out. It'll get rid of all the lumps that you see in there. Okay, so. So we'll start by doing that. The other thing that I've done ready to go. The other thing that I've done is I've lined up behind me a whole bunch of shop towels folded like this, about eight or ten of them, just to make sure that I hopefully have enough to do the whole surface. And when you're doing a big surface like this, it helps to lay down a coat of mineral spirits. And you do have to work a little bit fast. avoid that overlapping. But what the mineral spirits will do is it'll put down kind of a slip coat and it'll help the stain glide easier. And as you can see I'm not being very generous with it. Obviously, we'll try it out pretty quickly too. With the gel stain, the big thing is just to get it on. Okay, once that's done, 
Then you're gonna start with your shop towels. You're just gonna get all spread out. And it's not real important that you're going with the grain when you're getting it spread out. On our final wipe, we will go with the grain. Okay. Then once you get it all on, like so, you've got pretty decent even coverage. You can put these right down here. Then, you start wiping it off and you want to do this with the grain. Now usually when I get toward the edge, I want to do the edge first, so you don't leave any marks on your top. When you do near the edge on your top. And you see how nice and even that looks. So we don't have to worry, we don't have any landmarks. Then you take one final shot towel, and kind of buff it a little bit. Just to make sure that we're nice and even. There you go, easy peasy. Okay, so we're just gonna tidy things up under here. We're gonna do a power strip. Okay, just wanted to show you guys, they do provide you with some sticky tie wraps that can stick right to the bottom of your desk. And you can tie wrap your cords. I am using some other tie wrap, we may use some of these, we'll see. Right now I'm just using some other ones that I had. But they do provide you with everything you need. Okay, we've got everything set up. I just wanted to show you real quick. This is the controller for the desk. It has up and down buttons to move the desk up and down, as you can see. And it also has memory positions. Our number one is our sitting position. And then number two is our standing position for me. 
And number three is a standing position for Cindy. And this is how you set the memory. And it also has an alarm. So you can set an alarm to go off like every 30 minutes to remind you to stand up or sit down. Okay, so I just wanted to mention this particular desk it has a load bearing capacity of 275 pounds. So I could virtually sit on this thing and it would lift me up and down. That tabletop and all our computer equipment is probably under 50 pounds. So it's quite sturdy, quite powerful. It moves up and down at about an inch per second, which is pretty quick. We'll show you that here in a second. And the stability on this thing is, is pretty amazing. It doesn't shake, it doesn't uh, wobble back and forth. It's really a nice stable desk. Um, so this, this would be the sitting position that Cindy's in where she can use the computer. And then if she wants to move to a standing position, all she has to do is hit the number three on the controller pad and then she can just go ahead and stand up and the desk will automatically go to the memory position that we set. Now for me, I'm a little bit taller than Cindy is. So we have mine set up so that I'm just a little bit higher. Just about an inch or so. So this is the height that I would use it standing. And then to sit down, we can just hit the number one. Take a seat. The desk will come right down to where it needs to be. So there you go, and now we're ready to use it. So the desk is pretty amazing, guys. We really like it, and uh, we hope you enjoyed watching this. If you want, like I said, we'll put a link in the description uh, to go to the Place of Spot website, and um, you get an extra $15 off if you use our link. And I believe that's it for today. But we're going to be coming soon. we got some really cool videos that we're going to be doing some restorations on. Uh, we hope you enjoy the tips on restoring this table, some of the things that we did. And as always, have a flippin' awesome day.